Hi, my name's Jim Farry and I'm here in Nottingham with MLC Academy and Evans Drumheads here to give you an introduction to mine and Paul Hose's new book, Drum Set for Beginners, A Teacher's Guide. Today I'm going to talk about the first lesson, which is an introduction to basic rock beats. What we're going to play is we're going to play with either hand, the right or the left, on the hi-hat cymbal. We could also play on the ride cymbal. We're going to play eight continuous notes and develop an even flow whilst counting to eight. These notes are called quavers or eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's important that you always relaxed and you maintain an even flow and an even movement in your arm. Now because the hands are good at working together we're going to introduce the other hand before we introduce any of the feet. We're going to introduce the snare drum with the right hand. I'm going to be playing in the open-handed position. You may see people playing in the cross-handed position. On beats three and seven I'm going to play a snare drum and it looks like this. One, two, Great. Get that together before you try and add any of the feet or move on. I'm going to add the bass drum with the right foot now. This is going to go on count number one. So let's try and put this together. On count one, I'm going to have a bass drum with the hi-hat. On counts three and seven, I'll have a snare drum with the hi-hat. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Again, make sure that you've got that together and you feel really comfortable with that before moving on. So once you've established a basic eighth note rock beat with a bass drum at the beginning of each bar on the downbeat and backbeat snare drums on the third and seventh quaver, what we need to do is establish some control over where we put the snare drums and bass drums to create variations. And this really is the whole basis of most Western pop music. So if you want to play in a band, this is something to really study before worrying about any other symbols or fills or, or anything like that because with this you can play along to many many songs in many styles. I'm going to move the bass drum from count one to another count. You can pick any count you want but I'm going to go for count four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Again, you must be able to do this with any count in the bar from one to eight. I'm going to give it a go with count number two now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Okay, you may also try and put a bass drum on counts three and seven. Although often the snare masks the sound of the bass drum, it's still an effective sound to master to not get any of this sound. You want to get them together. Now I'm going to have a look at moving the snare drum. I'm going to begin by moving the first snare drum later to count number four. I'm going to put the bass drum back on beat one so that I'm not thinking about doing two things at once. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
Again, give that a go yourself. It's important that as well as being able to count each of these exercises, that you can hear the sounds and sing them to yourselves in your head as you play them. This is to create musical feel, not just to perform an exercise. The next step, once you can move a bass drum and a snare drum to any count that you like, is to add a bass drum or a snare drum. I'm going to give you an example of playing the first two bass drums. That's beats one and two. Okay. Or I could try beats one and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, spend a good amount of time mastering each pattern. Each one is a piece of music in its own right. Once you've mastered this, add a snare drum. Again, just with one bass drum at the beginning of the bar, I may play a snare drum on count seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight. Once you've mastered this, you can try anything you like from one to eight with a bass drum or a snare drum. Okay? I'm just going to play a couple of ideas, moving snare drums and bass drums around. You could try and watch this video again, slow it down. You could try and notate some of these ideas. Okay, here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One. Have some fun with that, and when you mastered each of those ideas, check out the next lesson.